see where they go when they start and phase zero to where when they graduate, the skills that they develop as a leader, it's just astounding. Mind your gone, how you feeling? Military success involves precision. Clothes hangers so far apart, everything folded just right, and of course, the push-ups. Welcome to leadership training in the Army National Guard. She was in charge of molding us from just a regular soldier into an officer. Captain Lee is the senior platoon trainer. She's responsible for providing the, the candidates the discipline and the tactics piece of the overall training. All buttons and Naomi Lee wears a captain's hat here. There are several others in her closet. I call myself future Dr. General Lee Indian Princess <laughs> because those are all the hats I wear um, right now. You know, I'm a soon to be a professor slash a doctor. I'm aspiring to be the first female Native American general. And so all of those identities that I have, I try to meld together and don't keep them separate from each other. Because she leads from within, from multiple places. And the future Dr. General Lee works on multiple fronts. Naomi is a rock star because she does it all. She is interested in supporting Native American students, the next generation. She does interesting research on vaccine development. She's translating her research at the bench into communities. And I'm a peptide chemist or a biochemist. What I'm doing is different chemistries with um, amino acids on the outside surface. Lee has studied human papillomavirus infections of Native women in South Dakota and now as a research professor at Northern Arizona University, wants to improve HPV vaccine effectiveness. What she learned was that most common types of, of HPV were not what's fo found here in our population. Something that's really rare uh, in other researchers was her ability to really coordinate um, some disparate projects basic science work, um, work out in the community, um, epidemiological studies, um, and integrate them into a real, like, coherent research project. We modified it. At the University of New Mexico, Johns Hopkins University, Yakima Nation of Washington, and elsewhere, Lee actively supports STEM programs for natives in early outreach and support. We're working on cancer research, and we're all working on different things. So mine's colorectal cancer. I'm trying to encourage them to get into science as soon as they can, figure out if they like it and then what they like about it so they can pursue it at an earlier stage than what I did. Lee grew up among her Seneca people in New York State. After earning a master's degree in chemistry, she left graduate school. Both of her parents were ill and needed help, and a faculty advisor discouraged both Lee's commitment to family and her military interest. She's our only female tax. She also brings her level of education. Not many of us all have PhDs. She also brings the Native American experience. Her ability to apply every piece of who she is in, as an individual is vital to our group and our organization. What do you guys want to see change? Today, Lee prizes mentorship because it was her own mentors who steered her back to graduate school, encouraging pursuit of all her dreams. Only being able to wear the science hat and not feeling like I could have that Native identity as part of my science career was not only difficult for myself, but also those around me who didn't know what to do with it. Can I imagine Dr. Lee as an Army General? Absolutely. She is fair but tough. She has high expectations of everyone, including herself. How many meters? 20 meters. On the field or in the lab, leadership is about connecting inside to your complete self and then to others. I think she connected well with us on a personal level. Where I think other organizations fail is they just throw you in with somebody that doesn't really know you. By using that little spark, she was able to connect with us a little better and, and help mold us and help teach us more. On graduation day, Naomi Lee watches her student soldiers sworn as new lieutenants, ready to bring out people's best and learn from the rest. Attention to detail. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes in their career, in their personal life. If you're interested in more than one thing, you can do more than one thing. You just need to have the mentors and the support around you.